came out a few days ago and said we had a very special guest from all the way from New Hampshire. <laughs> all the way. All the way. <laughs> and, she six miles. Miles. <laughs> and she wanted to hear the happy song. So I'm going to do that one. Do that one, especially for Christine. Aww. I like depressing songs, though. <laughs> Don't worry, I have plenty, I have plenty of those. <laughs> I have I have plenty enough depressing songs for any any uh, overly happy individual. But um, actually, this song is called the Happy Song, and I wrote it when I was depressed, and I was trying to cheer myself up. And I thought, well, let me write a song about some happy stuff. And uh, I found out that was really hard, <laughs> at least for me. Seems like it's so much easier to write about stuff that makes you mad or sad. It's really hard to write around about happy stuff and not sound cheesy. Um, so anyway, this is what I came up with. It might be a little bit cheesy. tuning it's like a violin but it has uh, two strings of each note and it's uh, got frets on it like a guitar mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry I thought you were talking about the one she was holding yeah <laughs> oh I'm sorry was that not that a question for me no that was yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> Correctly. Okay, have a little smart ass over here no I thought you were talking about the one she had <laughs> okay, so. 
Um, and yes, this is a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so glad you did that. It's a very, very rare, very rare instrument in, in American music. <laughs> I'm one of the few people who can play one. <laughs> Oh. Anyway, um, so the next song I'm going to do is I'm going to do the title song on my new CD. I have a new CD which just came out in uh, August. I, I was saying last month, but now it's October, so I can't say last yeah. month anymore. But it just came out in the middle of August, and uh, it's called Common Law Wife. And um, this is the title song from it. And it's funny, I was doing an interview with a journalist a few weeks ago. And he said, how did you come up with that common law wife? He said, boy, that just sounds like a classic country song. <laughs> and I said, well, basically it's my life. <laughs> so, I guess I'm living in a classic country song. <laughs> but uh, my uh, Brandon, who was supposed to be here with me today, my duo partner, he's also my life partner, I guess you could say. And a few years back, I hired him to come play guitar with me. And we spent some time on the road and, and a lot of time talking, and one thing led to another, and now we have a two-and-a-half-year-old. <laughs> That's how it happens. And another one on the way. <laughs> and so I always tell people, if you have musical chemistry, you better watch out. You might have some other kinds of chemistry, too. <laughs> but it's just been a wonderful surprise that I really wasn't planning for. I always kind of saw myself as a solo gal, and... and uh, and having a family has just been such a wonderful surprise that life has given me, and I'm so happy with it. And um, so I'm going to sing you a song about it. It's called In Law Life. I swore I'd never marry hell. You heard it in my song. And if some feller caught me, well, it was. from the new CD and um, we actually did a really cool video of this which we shot on my family's farm where we live and um, I'd encourage you to go to my website and, and uh, check it out there's a link to it on the home page of my website these folks that came and shot it for us did a great great job but the song is called Hammer and um, it was uh, first off inspired by my grandfather we actually live in a house that he built and uh, he's no longer with us but you know everywhere around me in the house I can see the work of his hands and he also built all of the barns and the buildings surrounding us. So it, I, I can kind of, it's almost like I feel his spirit, although his body's not with us, I can feel him with me And as I look around at his work. And he was such a hardworking person. He was a farmer his whole life, and he was such an intelligent person, and I just really looked up to him. And so I kind of started writing a song about that, and, um, and I heard that Pete Seeger had passed away. And I really looked up to him as well as an artist and as a person and all the things that he fought for. And so I tried to sort of wrap this song about around both of those men 
uh, who I so greatly admired. And so this song is for both of them. It's called Hammer. This land is haunted. This land has ghosts. I can hear them when the night winds blow. The unnamed who lived and died left their bones beneath its soil. This land is haunted. today. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go do a radio thing up at NHPR in Concord, um, which I believe is going to air um, next, uh, if you guys get that channel that, this far down, it's going to air next Sunday night. But um, I had done the first couple of songs and she said, oh, I wasn't recording, so uh, I had to do that one, had to do that one twice. <laughs> 89 one f <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, I think they said it's going to, it's going to air uh, 
next uh, Sunday night. So, um, so I'm going to go back and do an old song now. Um, this is one off my first CD, and I wrote this about a guy that I had been dating for a while, and uh, he swept me off my feet and then pretty much dumped me. <laughs> and I was really upset about it at the time, and I said, I'm going to get some really good revenge on this guy. I'm going to write a song about everything he did to me. And then I'm going to put it on my album, and he'll feel bad, and he'll be sorry. 